What's in that box? So this is a lift kit to help get this into that without using those. I can tell you after two years of using these, they stink. I can't wait to open this. All right. So you ready to unbox this sucker? One box opening implement. All right. Here we go. Here we go. We need bubble wrap for a metal. Yeah. So we got a big metal piece here and a lot of extra paper in the box here, so that's good. So here we go. Uh, I'm gonna kind of, well, before we actually do that, let's get a close up of the part number on there. This is an official part number from yeah. Honda for lifting this. That aside, the interesting thing was, I'm gonna go ahead and just open this up here. Set that down. So there's one piece, this looks like a metal bar for the kit here. And further in the bag, we have, looks like some brackets and some bolts. And that is it. So right, let's open the bolts. Yeah. Of course, there doesn't appear to be any instructions on how to actually oh, do this. What so. do we think about instructions? Yeah, we don't need instructions. That's why we have YouTube That's why videos. That's one of $45 manual. Yeah, exactly. Video. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, make sure we got it. So it looks like we have two brackets here. Probably one for each side of the, of the uh, frame here. And for these uh, bolts, so just to kind of set these up on top right now. And first ring. It's like, uh, like at Christmas here. And all right, here we go. So I'm gonna throw that in there. Maybe you can hold it up for a viewer. Yeah, what so you? I'm assuming that this go must go like... Between these bars, eh? Between the bars, like, like okay. so. And then obviously the hook would probably come on to here. And to, uh, you What know, do you suppose this is gonna do to the generator cover? Probably won't help much, right? Yeah, I, I guess mean, we'll see. Yeah, it's gonna be very interesting, especially when you need to uh, refuel over here, right? Because if this is in the way. Well, it looks to me like you can move it forward or back as much as we want, right? Yeah. To me, it looks like these actually, this goes under the bars. Yeah, let's try, see. Here. Yeah, try. Yeah, that, that looks to me like about how it's gonna go. In fact. I'm not sure, actually, because... I think we're gonna have to take one of these off, maybe. No, I they're, guess they're well, welded they're on. Yeah. All right. So again, this is, if oh. this kind of, it looks like it kind of... These are round, though? Yeah. So they, to me, it looks like it's gonna go like, like that. that. yeah. So I think this goes so, under here. So when it's lifting, so we'll just have to fiddle. We may have to loosen something up to get this bar on, right? Yeah, so it's like, yeah, on like that on one side. Right, and let's figure out how to get that under. Yeah, that's gonna be the All tricky right. part. So Fred and I are sweltering in the 110 degree heat so you don't have to. Yes. And we think we have a technique for putting the lift kit on that is repeatable. Yes. So what did we do first with well, the Well, we first cover? took off the fuel cover to make to see if we have room, and we did actually find that we do have room just to get in on this one side. But then we couldn't get the fuel, fuel but, cover back on. Right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and then that, that makes it pointless for being able to change out the fuel filter later on and stuff like that with this thing on there. 
luckily what we found out is if you get at the right angle. Okay, so let's get a shot here. All right. So you'll see that I'm on the opposite side here. So I have all this free room here and I get, if I get this thing deep down there. So I right can, about this rib here. Yeah. And then on the other side, I can just start to turn it and then you'll see it goes underneath right like that. So it's very, very, it was a little cumbersome, but there you go. And we're gonna position it right over the fuel cover. You wanna put it, you wanna put it over the fuel cover? Oh, right, right about there maybe? Right, okay. Like as much to center. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, as long as you have the, yeah, I think that would be probably a good center spot. I guess we could always, once we lift it up, we can see how well it balances and if we need to adjust, adjust it. Adjust it, okay. All right. All right, so we're gonna take these four bolts and these two brackets. And again, kind of lift this up. Kind of pop it over just like that. Make sure it's all nice and in there. I'll just get it started. Let's get the other side down right there. And then kind of, you have to, you might have to force it up a little bit to kind of pop into this, into the pace or space there. Excuse me on the bar, and then I'll go ahead and get that one started. Let's get this nice and all right level this yeah. way. All right, so you know we don't. Are we pretty even or you want to go a little bit more over? Looks good to me. All right. So let our viewers see. Okay. What uh, size wrench are you dealing with? So this is a 12 millimeter. Now going completely tight just to kind of get both sides in. Exactly sure because no instructions. No instructions, so we don't know how tight to go, but we don't want to make it too loose. Now we we know from experience this bar was very hard to get on. Yeah. My so. speculation is that it's like that, so that these come loose. It's, it's uh, highly unlikely. That yeah, bar is you would have to get the, at a really odd angle yeah. for it to actually twist and get off. And so through the magic of YouTube, are we going to put that uh, fuel cover back on? Yep, we're going to put that fuel cover right back on. All right. Through the magic of YouTube. Well, the fuel cover is restored, although we have to clarify to our viewers, ultimately it did not need to come off. Nope. But we tried it because we phantom instructions. Exactly, so, yeah. Again, one corner goes there, another corner goes there, then you push it in with your fingers and voila. voila. All right, let's... Uh... So now we're gonna try to get it into that there truck with that lift using the Spitz lift. All right. All right. Mint lift sequence. Fred is now going to assemble the Spitz lift. And then we are going to load the generator into the truck. Off we go. All right, first piece, the elbow. All right. Now we take this with us camping. Put that in here. All right, nice and locked in space. So the next piece is this. And the little cup holders go towards us. Towards us, like this? Yep. Down like that. Hold the pin. Okay, I'm gonna hold the bottom here. Now you're gonna push it up. Nope, um, push up the spitz lift frame itself. Yep. Okay. More, 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 way more until it's level. Keep going, it's gonna be almost one more there. Right there, okay. Um, push through. You can just. 
this is not delicate work. I think I'm at a slight angle here. There it goes. There it goes. Woohoo! All right. You can. All right, let's get down. Now, boom. lower just is it just reverse or? This crap is going away. Yeah. Put this in the corner for the scorpion. See you later, crap. <laughs> All right. You're not hitting the truck. All right. Tilt it towards me. Towards Other way. This way, right here. Yeah. Like that. Okay. All right. I'm hit. Yes, against. talk a little bit about balance all right i so would say compared to what the straps were like not half bad all right so you think it might be a little bit closer towards the over the uh, actual probably but uh i'm willing to deal with it because it'll be easier to fuel without the uh thing centered right over it i so. would agree as well and like i said loading with the straps it was way worse than this yeah so we're just going to i'm assuming we just push yep it'll make some noises but uh never fear There we go. Just like that. Consider one generator loaded. There we are. And we're done. See what happens when we put the generator cover on now that we have this lift kit. Thank you. 